Hey everybody and welcome back to some Super Auto Pets. On the last one we tied our personal best so far of 17 rounds, but we'll see if we could do a little bit better this time. And we'll do that by getting a duck. Yeah, that's right, a duck. And we'll be the, uh, the hot shirts. Ooh, I want a hot shirt. Well, no, not really. I, I don't think I'd wear it. I think I just walk around without a shirt on. <laughs> no, he sniped my ants. Damn it. I didn't want to take a loss that quickly. Oh well. Uh, well, I guess that's fine. Uh, what we could do is just sell that, but I think we'll instead freeze and we'll apple one. Uh, why that? So that I can save the duck for when I get my tier three and then I can use that. God damn these mosquitoes. They're freaking snipers over here. But we got the win anyway. Okay, so dumbass build idea. Penguin, three pufferfish, and an elephant. I mean, it could be good. But does it draw? That's the thing I need is draws. Alright, so let's stack these up. Okay, this actually works out well. <coughs> we do this. And then what we're going to do is pill this ant and hope it doesn't hit the other ant. Nice. So then you get buffed like that, as such, as so. Uh, then we could also do this, like that. And then we save this pill for this ant. Nice. All right, it's a four squad Marty, but you know. Okay, shoot three rocks with every elephant attack? Sure, but is it gonna draw? Is it gonna win or is it gonna draw? Because that's the problem. Or is it going to lose? Because if it loses, that's also not too helpful. Alright, so again, we're going to do this. Oh, except we're going to do it like this. We're going to pill this flamingo. Buff these guys. Then we're going to put this ant in front of here and then hit him like that. And have a two squad, Marty. And uh, we'll put you there too. Roll. All right, this is looking dangerous. Ultimate draw would be penguin, hedgehog, and three badgers. Yeah. Man, three badgers would be nice, but getting them up like high enough and pumped up would be pretty rough. That's a lot of chocolate. Hmm. It's not anything I really want. Do I want to upgrade the ox? I think so. I usually switch off of it, but he's got big numbers right now, and uh, it's going to be hard to pass that up. Move over. Alright, so this is going to start off with him popping and killing our ox's uh, melon armor. Our swan dies. Does I, Do I really care? Do I really care about the swan dying? I guess it could do one damage before dying. Then this hedgehog hits, this hedgehog dies. You'll take four damage, but you still have eight, so you could trade pretty well. The ox will get its uh, melon armor back. This seems fine. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. All right, Swan, do your one damage. Good job. Ta -da! Holy fucking shit. Uh, so, this is insanity, and I don't think this is gonna work, but I think we have to try. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. Um, uh, so you're gonna set off a tra chain reaction, and all three of these are gonna be wiped out at the same time. Uh, but that does six damage to everything on their side. Uh, I think we have to go for it. We have to try. Oh god. Oh, it's gonna kill their badger, though! Which kills their giraffe? Damn it. <laughs> we need a badger too. 
Does filter explicit content affect the entire chat or just me? I don't know. Considering the only people in my chat are mods, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, that did not go as well as I planned. So what we're going to do is uh, stack you up like this. I guess I could start scaling with food. Do some food scaling like that. We're going to definitely switch to a badger at some point. Uh, there's our penguin. I don't know what's explicit content. I don't know how you would filter content. Is it just like chat messages? Nice. Use their badger against them. Where their numbers count for nothing. Okay, I know I just fed you, but I gotta go to the penguin here. You'll buff you and you, and I don't have to buy food constantly. Uh, we'll also do that. Uh, let's see. I could give meat to the swamp. To the penguin. The swan's probably not going to be here as long as the penguin's going to be around. So let's invest more in the, the penguin. More investment in penguin. Alright. That kills the badger. Our melon survives. Alright, that's a win. I might have to get rid of the ox if we keep on winning draws because of his uh, melon ability. Uh, so in that case, let's buff our hedgehog a little bit. <clears throat> I am still going to give him that one up for the penguin so that we can stack up because it's better to get wins than it is losses because at least I could cut after a certain point. Uh, roll another hedgehog. So we'll get you up to level two. This is looking all right. <clears throat> Technically, it's just hide profanity. Oh, okay. Oh, that is a big crab. Holy cow. All right, we'll wipe out their whole back line. Damn it. Good job. All right, so we're once again on lethal, and we're pretty... We haven't gotten a lot of draws. It's been wins and losses pretty much the whole way. There's a penguin. I'm going to sell the swan to get a cow so that I can buff up this hedgehog and the penguin just a little bit more. Then we'll sell the cow and get two penguins so that they can both level up that. And then we'll stack it on this one. Is that a bad idea? Maybe. But hopefully that gets us back onto the winning side. The peaceful music is making you sleepy? Oh. Well, don't be sleepy. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay, that didn't work at all. Stacking penguins. <laughs> no sleep, only wake. Well, we can, we can try to work on the music then. After uh, this run, we could switch it over to something a little more upbeat. A little more tempo heavy. Well, I guess we're going crickets then. <laughs> uh, we'll be the shy masseuses. I want to touch you, but like, <laughs> that would be weird, right? <laughs> Unless I'll rattle your cage if you sleep, Cinnabon. Oh, no. You're going to get bonked without doing anything lewd, even. He's just going to be peacefully sleeping and then get woken up because Mistress demands your attention. I guess I could stack one of these and then Beaver, but... Or Otter, that is. Uh, okay, I guess I'll do that then. There we go. But I could be accommodating. We can... We can put some faster music on here if you're unless you're trying to go to sleep. Are you trying to go to sleep? Do you want to go to sleep? 
if so, I'll, I'll let you climax and then you can then you can go settle down somewhere. <laughs> okay, maybe an early camel might be good for us because we're going to get hedgehogs and badgers and stuff and so that might work out in our favor. Turns on hell on earth. <laughs> uh, no, let's just stack that up and do this. On the fish, okay. Uh, Dodo can also do work. But it's not what I'm looking for. None of this is really what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Now we've got it. Oh, that's a lot of fish. That is a lot of fish. Our fish was bigger though. I've got the biggest fish of them all. Well, well, well. So we meet again, multi-hog. <laughs> I can't help myself. I can't help myself and it keeps giving them to me. <laughs> First track of the Doom Eternal OST. Oh, okay. I understand why that would make people uh, pretty hype. Hey, we'll take a win like that. Mmm, camel kangaroo with he hedgehogs all around? Whale hedgehog, there we go. Yep, let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, so here's what we do. We do the camel kangaroo right here. The hedgehog will pop and then... Uh, it'll break any like melon armors or stuff in the front, even deer, and then that gives our camel a better chance. And then we can save this garlic for next turn and put it on the camel. That should be pretty good, right? Oh no. Oh, that kills our kangaroo. Oh, I, I completely miss. I didn't recognize. He's a level two, so he does four damage. Uh, which means our swan's always going to die, which kind of sucks a little bit. Uh, I really need to get this kangaroo some stats then, otherwise we're just gonna lose outright. Okay, so in this case, we're just gonna do a temporary buff like that so it lives. <laughs> How does Doom Guy Bot have PTSD? I don't know. How does? God damn it. That was a big team. They had lots of numbers. Because he is he is the traumatic event. Ah. Uh, I see. Alright, this hedgehog is kind of ruining us. It's kind of bad. So what we're gonna do is get rid of the kangaroo and put in a blowfish. Seems way better. There's a camel. And then uh, let's put in a bee on our swan. Because the swan's going to die, but at least we'll have like a bee left over that might be able to trade. <laughs> oh, look at that fucking crab right there. Oh, no. Well... Uh, I don't think we've got this one, boys. <laughs> this one seems like a loss. I can't even, like, reasonably take a penguin right now because I don't have anything but the hedgehog leveled up. But I'll do it anyway, because we're kind of boned. We're kind of boned regardless. You believe? Well, I'm glad someone does. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's take a can. A turtle. Could a turtle help? No. Well, I was really hoping that wouldn't hit the penguin since the penguin's just gonna die anyway, but let's see what happens.
yeah that was that was a pretty doomed one okay so camel camel was not the right choice i've tried that two times now in two different sets of this thing and it just didn't work so we're gonna do this we're gonna do this a new sap song parody for me what's that what's that gonna be Ah, uh, we'll be the offensive beavers because I'll let your mind fill that one in. What could possibly be an offensive beaver? <laughs> All right, starting off with the draw. That's a good way to go. Uh, we could put in a mosquito. We'll put in one of you. Uh, actually, we'll put in a second fish like that. That's not bad. A uh, parody of Turn the Ship Around called Turn This Match Around. Maybe. I'm not I'm not super enthusiastic about it, but it's probably better. The subtle chunks, what are they chunks of? They they blow chunks, probably. Alright, so we did get our hedgehog. We'll put you at the back. Okay, Dodo. If Dodo gets bigger, Dodo's good for trading. The problem is getting Dodo bigger. That is always the problem with Dodo, is that it starts out so, so weak. You have to put a lot into it to get anything out of it, but whatever. Nice. Nice draw. Okay, so here's what you do. You sell the otter. You buy... Buy the hedgehog. Pill the ant. Nice. We hold off on the fish for a second. Ox would have been nice a moment ago, but instead what we're going to do is put the fish up here and next turn we'll combine them and level up or uh, bonus all of those. Dog shrimp swan, just keep buying and selling things. Yeah, you could do that, but it kind of doesn't match what we're, we're going for here. I think the next time I do another uh, Super Auto Pet stream, what I'm going to do is, uh, oh nice, the badger got the kill for us. I think I might buy the uh, the other pack and use the microbe and all of that. Because the microbe team would probably do pretty well at drawing and maybe I didn't give it a fair enough shake last time. Alright, so we're going to combine these. And we got a penguin. Interesting, a very early penguin is something to be afraid of these stats could get out of control. So what do I want to do with this information? Am I going to hold on to a mosquito for the entire game? I might because it's going to be stacked up more than anything else. So let's give it a garlic. A blowfish would be nice. Uh, I want to do one with us, but we need more people. Yeah. She played with us on, I think it was Christmas. It was just me and character. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good time too. We could definitely do it. We've got more people in here on the, on the regular. So we could set up a, a private lobby. That'd be pretty fun. Okay, we're going to stack you up and buy the blowfish. Uh, and this penguin's going to help buff our big guys at the front. And hopefully these guys trade pretty well at the back. Nice trading. Just basically killed his own thing with the elephant, which I am fine with. A giraffe and the penguin might be a little bit much. I'm going to invest in our fish a little bit. Because again, he's going to have numbers and uh, 
That's going to be hard to pass up. Because they're, they're just going to keep getting bigger from the early penguin. Alright, they got a honey badger in the back. Yep, that's that's the B factor for you. Alright, we can give our blowfish garlic. And then move it to the back so it gets hit by the hedgehog first. Uh, let's see some upgrades, game. Can I see some upgrades? Absolutely. There we go. We'll grab you. We'll save you. But I'm looking for a hedgehog or a blowfish. We'll save that garlic too for the hedgehog. Uh, a badger is definitely something we want to have. But at this point, where do I fit him in? Where do you even fit the badger in? I don't even know. At this point, I've kind of like left myself out of it. Uh, I just remember characters sweeping the first round with massive ladybugs. Yeah. Ladybugs and then buying one item from the shop is pretty good. Like, I could get rid of the mosquito, but I've already invested in it. If I get rid of the fish and put a, a badger in, it's not going to be getting buffed. The blowfish will start getting buffed. The penguin's always going to be incredibly low, which is okay because then it's like dolphin fodder, but... Okay, you know what? We're not going to keep the fish. We'll keep the blowfish instead. And then we'll keep the badger and hope that we're able to get it up in time for it to be relevant. We are doing a good job of drawing out on this one. So I want to keep that. Is this the same team as last time? Or is it just another honey badger? God damn it. Honey badger is just so good. Uh, all right, so we pump you. We got to sell you. Then we put badger in the front. And put garlic on you in the back. I guess what I could do is this. Do it like that. No, because my hedgehog is going to kill the badger. The hedgehog has to be in the back, basically. That's going to do a lot of damage. Alright, so we put the penguin behind the badger and then it's safe. Save the badger? What a weird save the earth variant. <laughs> save the badger! Alright, we do need, we need upgrades So I need another hedgehog. I need more badgers. I need chocolate. I need stuff. Oh. Well, that sucks. Well. We're on lethal now. That's not the upgrade I'm looking for. I'm honestly going to roll past it because I need other things upgraded here. Uh, holy shit game. It just will not give me the, the upgrades. Now this is the problem when you play a game that's heavy on the RNG. Like what are you going to do? Right. How did we win that? I feel like there was no mathematical possibility that we would win that, and yet we did. I was already preparing to do my outro for it. <laughs> oh, come on! Just... Oh, fine, I'll do this. You're really just going to completely snub me on any upgrades three shops in a row. All right, well, here, I'll give my penguin honey. That way when he's sniped, uh, it at least leaves a bee for the, the honey badger to hit. How about that? <laughs> Blowfish battle. Okay, we'll take the trade there. Strange, but we made it. Uh, what else could we do? I could give a melon armor to the hedgehog so that if it does get hit by the badger, it's not immediately ruined by it. And then our badger... No. I need those upgrades. 
I need upgrades. Give me chocolate. Give me something. Holy shit. Okay. Now our hedgehog can start leveling up from the penguin. No, I can't do mushroom at this point. We need to get this penguin bigger. Oh no, I think this is it. Yeah. Yep. Ah, that's disappointing. After we had such an amazing run before. All right, let's uh let's call this one here. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of it in the future, subscribe. If you got any tips or tricks for me, leave them in a comment down below. And until next time, take care of yourself and take care of those around you. Bye-bye.